Take care of all sorts of creatures, but human babies? I think we're gonna need a little help on this one. Do you want to help us take care of our friend's baby? All right. Well, why don't we start out by putting him down right over here and put him right in the basket? All right. Maybe put something under his head. What do you think? <laughs> there. Perfect. Okay. Now what? Well, we're gonna need a lot of help for this one. Zabumafu! Zabu! Zabumafu! How you doing, buddy? Come on, Zob. Those are big leaps. And you know what? You look a little bigger. He does, doesn't he? Have you been growing again? I'll take that as a yes. You know, lemurs like Zabu are taller than you think. Zabu usually has his legs bent and ready to leap. But when he stretches out, you find out how long he really is. But you know Zabu. He won't tell us exactly how much he's grown until he's had his snack. So, time for a lemur snack. Yeah, the broccoli, one of Zabu's favorites. They look like little trees. Yeah, there you go. Let's see if Zabu wants to eat the whole thing to grow even bigger. I guess he does. Give me Zabu the food. <laughs> um, two. What's up? Two. Two? Yeah, two. Two garbanzo beans. I'm two garbanzo beans taller. Oh. <laughs> two garbanzo <laughs> beans? That's pretty good, Zabu. Now, since you're such a growing machine, can you help us take care of this baby? <gasps> Manga Ziga. A human baby. Of course I'll help. It'll be easy, easy, easy. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, Zabu. <laughs> well, you guys take care of babies all the time. Baby jaguars. <laughs> Baby kawadis, baby bears. How different could it be? You know, maybe well, he's uh, right. Yeah, and another creature who can help us grow is headed this way. Who could it be? Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? Okay, he had two big ears. They looked like big furry brown leaves. Long tail. Oh, and, and two big feet that bounced. Let's see. Powerful legs, big ears, and a long tail. Jumped, not walked. Of course, a baby red kangaroo. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Unga Tsika, the mystery animal's here. He's a baby red kangaroo, and he's about 10 months old, which makes him just a little older than the human baby. One of the amazing things about a kangaroo is that they have to move both back legs at the same time. They can't move them independently. They always go at the same time. 
Look at how the kangaroo's ears swivel around, picking up all the sounds. Their ears are so good they can hear a rainstorm 20 miles away. Listen, he hears something. And right now he can hear the human baby. Look, he's going over to say hi. Hey, everybody, I have a great idea. Baby one and baby two, let's grow up together, all right? Huh? Okay, so now we have three young creatures who want to grow up healthy and strong. A lemur. Oh, that's me. One more! <laughs> well, I think I'll call you, uh, Bigfoot. And a human baby. Oh, I'll give you a name, too. I know. What's that sound you make? It's a gurgling sound. That's it. I'll call him Gurgles. <laughs> Gurgles? Yeah. Well, Tabu, he already has a name. His name is Xavier. Well, I think Gurgles is better, because that's the sound he makes. Well, I think he likes it when I call him that, too. Hi, Gurgles. <laughs> what does it smell like, Zabu? Like a growing Gurgles. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gurgles, maybe I should have called you Bigfoot. <laughs> All right, time to measure everybody's height. Let's start with the kangaroo. All right, buddy. OK, stand still. Got it. All right, kangaroo is two feet and two inches tall. Well, good work, Bigfoot. I wonder how many garbanzo beans that is. Chris, bring in the baby. You ready, Xavier? Let's go. All right, hey, Xavier, high five. Yeah. <laughs> it's Xavier's turn to be measured. I'll measure at the top of his head, right there. Two feet exactly. Oh, good work, Gurgles. You're almost as tall as Bigfoot. Zabu, it's your turn. Yep, I'm next. Okay, I'm ready. All right, Zabu, stand up tall. See where you mark out. All right. Whoa, two feet, three and a half inches. <laughs> Everybody's measured. Now, we'll go away and come back later to see who grew. Okay, let's grow. But remember, different creatures grow at different paces. An elephant grows very slowly, like a human. At about two years old, she's only as tall as her mother's belly and is still totally dependent upon her. But a puppy grows much faster. By about a year old, a dog is pretty much full grown. Crying baby. All right, what do we do? Here's an idea. It's okay. okay. This guy's definitely hungry. Oh, so he must be hungry too. Are you hungry? Well, I know I'm hungry. This growing lemur deserves a snack. <laughs> Way to go, Zabu. One of the things every creature needs to grow is good food. Uh, I said a snack, not a smack. One thing that helps all creatures grow is eating. Eating good food helps you grow up to be healthy and strong. Hey, Martin, maybe everybody's hungry. Milk's a great first food. Here you go, Chris, all right? If you want to grow, you have to eat. Mangrotsika, it's time to grow. Yeah, and milk is the only thing that these two babies need to eat. Milk has everything in it that they need in order to grow. A baby kangaroo will drink milk until he's about a year old. And the milk is actually inside his mom's pouch. Excuse me. All right, we should start growing right about now. Hey. We're not growing fast enough. Hey, brother. Heads up! Oh. Uh, I need something that'll make us grow faster. Well, there is something. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Well, what, brothers? What? To, to the, the laboratory. laboratory. Uh-oh. I had to ask. Yes, it be. No, I can't watch. Oh. Mash it nicely. Yes, it's coming along very well. <laughs> Do you think this organic growth formula will really work? I don't know, but I do know that it won't hurt. Won't hurt? That's what I like to hear. All right, the growth group formula is ready. Now, Zabu, stand under the turbojets. Okay. 
Let her rip. Whoa, Whoa. this is great. <laughs> Whoa, I feel like I'm growing already. Look out, grow, grow. There's nothing like a Crack Brother Grow formula to make you grow. It worked! <laughs> Sabu, <laughs> you're huge! This could only happen in Animal Junction. If Toothbrush the Elephant could see me now. <laughs> 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 I was afraid of that. The grow goop spray only lasts a short time. Well, I guess I'll have to go back to growing like a normal lemur. Yeah, I guess so. Uh-oh, uh -oh. crying baby alert. We better check with our consultant again. A nap. A kangaroo takes a nap in his mother's pouch. A kangaroo pouch is a great place to rest when you're tired. It's nice, warm, and safe. Must be what Fergles wants, a nap. Of course, sleep is the second thing all baby creatures need to grow. Whether you're a human or a lion, you need a lot of sleep. In fact, a lion sleeps between 17 to 19 hours a day. Now that's a lot of sleep. If you sleep, little Fergles, you gotta sleep so you can grow. Yeah. <sighs> Go to sleep. Go to sleep, go to sleep, little gurgles. You gotta sleep so you can grow, and then you can leap, 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 leap. <laughs> oh, Bigfoot sure looks comfortable, and so is Gurgles. Hmm. Maybe I'll help everybody have a nap. I'll tell them a story from Sabu Land. I was leaping along, leap, leap, leap. Leap, 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 leap. When I bumped into Sensit, oof! I said, "Hello, Sensit." Oh, hi, Zabu. I'm worried, really worried. <laughs> What's wrong? I can't find my little sister. <laughs> can't find them anywhere. <laughs> Even my super senses can't find them. <laughs> no, 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 no. If we were taller than the trees, we'd see them for sure. Oh, but we're not taller. We will be. Hey, Snow Lemur, you have a growberry? Oh, sure. Uh, uh, sure, Zabu. Uh, one growberry uh, coming up. Uh, I mean, uh, down. Yeah, down. Uh, here it comes. Uh, oh, watch out. Oh. 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 <laughs> there, one for you and one for me. So we ate the growberries and we grew bigger and bigger. We grew so giant that we could see clear across Zabu land. <laughs> My little sisters, they're with Bibi. Oh. Here, Sensit, have a shrink berry. So we shrunk back to normal size and went over to Phoebe's pool. <laughs> <laughs> I found them! Thanks, Zabu! Anytime, oh. Sensit. Sometimes it's good to grow tall. And sometimes it's good to be small. Yeah! <laughs> the end. <laughs> Great story, huh? Zabu. And Xavier and Bigfoot had a good nap. No problem. I help creatures grow just like a growberry, but they don't look any taller. Just wait, Zabu. It might not look like they're growing, but they are. You'll see. Okay, then. What now? It looks like Bigfoot really knows how to grow. That's right. The third thing that helps creatures grow. Exercise. If you want to grow, you got to play. Because playing gets you moving and makes your muscles strong. Playing games, figuring things out, and learning new things helps your mind grow, too. Well, I can help with this. I'm great at playing. Mongrel Zika, let's grow! Let's hop like kangaroos. Kangaroos like to hop along at 12 to 15 miles per hour. But when they really want to move, they can go 45 miles per hour. I feel kangarooish. How about you? I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel kangarooish. How about you, kangarooish? I feel kangarooish. Kangarooish! I'm a fast jumping grower, a baby kangaroo. Okay, brothers, 
I'm ready to be measured. Let's see if I grew any taller. All right, Sabu, up against the wall. Mm -hmm. Hey, no cheating. Uh -uh. Hold right. on. There. <gasps> Mongrel Zika! I did grow. Well, that must be a whole garbanzo bean and a half taller. <laughs> All right, it's Xavier's turn. Come on, buddy. Go right over here. And let's just... Whoa, one whole garbanzo bean for Xavier. Bigfoot's next. hard it is to measure a kangaroo. <laughs> All right, buddy, hold on. Wait, hop over this way. <laughs> He's having so much fun with this, I'm never gonna get to measure him. Wait, I've got an idea. All right, here's the trick. A little snack will stop him. All right, now I can get a measurement on you. Two feet, two and a half inches. Okay, well, that, that's enough for now. Wait, wait, ooh. hey, look at this, guys. The kangaroo grew too. He shot up about two garbanzo beans. I can't believe my mind. Food, sleep, and exercise, they really do help creatures grow. That's what it takes to grow a creature. Yeah. <laughs> Zabu was right all along. All creatures need pretty much the same thing to grow up healthy and strong. So taking care of a human baby is actually just as easy as taking care of a baby kangaroo. Looks like Bigfoot's going to show his mom how much he grew. <laughs> hey, Martin. Hey, Chris. Hey, Jennifer. How's it going? We had a great time taking care of your brother. Yeah, yeah. it was no problem. See you later. Hey, Zabu. Bye, Xavier Gurgles. <laughs> he was a great grower. Well, he grew one whole garbanzo bean today. And like I said before, growing him was easy, easy, easy. <laughs> Duck. Bean coming. Duck. That's not a duck. That's my pal, Sticky Feet. The peregrine oh. falcon. Uh, are you still growing, Sticky Feet? Oh, no. Hmm? He's full grown, Zabu. Birds grow pretty fast. He grew up in one year, and now he's 15 years old. And he brought a message from the animal helper. Oh, yeah. Hi, Crack Brothers. Guess what happened? Our cat, Myrtle, had kittens. And you'll never get to where she's keeping them. I was in my pajamas, all ready for bed, when I heard these little meowing sounds but I didn't know where they were coming from. I looked all around and finally looked in the closet. Myrtle had moved her kittens in there. She needed a safe place to look after them and she picked my closet. Myrtle's a great mom and she'll help these kittens grow up healthy. Amy is great with Oh, yeah, she's helping creatures grow just like me. Grow, Amy, grow! <laughs> there are creatures growing up all over the world. Mm -hmm. So how do we decide where to go to find growing creatures? Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. let's let this frog pick. Oh. He wants you to stay home. Where do you want to go? Well, India! India! Sounds like a trip to me. <laughs> to the closet! <laughs> They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. <laughs> They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Bye, Bye guys! There are all sorts of creatures growing up in these Indian forests. All you have to do is know how to spot them. Young elephants, tiger cubs. This place is crawling with young creatures. I know. Everyone's growing up. Ah! You okay, brother? I think so. <laughs> Whew. Sometimes creatures are easier to spot than tree branches, like those guys. Langer monkeys up here in the trees. And Langer monkeys down here on the ground. It's a whole Langer family. And it looks like there's a new addition to the family. A baby monkey. Born only a few days ago, this little monkey is growing fast. With a lot of help from mom, that is. At this age, a monkey needs his mom for everything. 
Now this baby monkey is a little bit older. He's probably about three months old. He's still nursing and getting a lot of his food and nutrition from his mom's milk. But he's also starting to try out solid foods. The way he does it is by running over to his mom and seeing what she's eating. He checks it out, see what it is, how she eats it, and then he goes off to try some for himself. You're seeing a baby monkey trying a new food for the first time. <laughs> but I guess he likes mom's milk a little better. <laughs> Now these two little guys are great buddies. They play together, they run around together, they do just about everything together. Including climbing trees. This baby Langer monkey is just practicing his climbing. Because if you're a Langer monkey, climbing is a huge part of your day. Hey Martin, let's climb like the Langer monkeys. All right! Well, I guess we grew a little too big for those tree branches. <laughs> yeah, but you guys keep on growing. Let's head back to Animal Junction. I wonder if Zaga grew by another garbanzo bean while we were gone. Let's find out. Well, hi, brothers. I built a new machine while you guys were away. This stretching machine will really help me grow. Woohoo! Zabu, no! Oh. Oh, stop! You can't do this! This is crazy! Zabu, you can't stretch yourself into growing bigger. You can't? No! The only way you can grow is by food, sleep, and exercise. Oh, oh. There you oh. go. Thanks, brothers. I guess you're right. I just wanted to show Kling along how much I could grow. Kling along? Yeah, over there. Martin, look. Marmosets. Wow. Look how they're zooming around. Yeah, and their little hands just cling right onto the branches. Yeah, well, that's why I call him Kling along and her Kling a Ling. They've got a lot of growing to do if they're going to get as big as me. So I thought they could try out my new machine. They're supposed to be small, Zabu. Marmosets are the smallest type of monkey in the whole world. Listen. The sounds they make sound kind of like birds chirping, don't they? Check out the tiger stripes on their back and their tail. Wow. And then they have those white ear tufts. Oh, look at them scratch. I've never seen a creature scratch so quickly. <laughs> how do you move so fast? Did you see how the marmosets said to chew? On the tree? That's because they're trying to dig a hole in the tree and get the sap that flows out. They eat it, like this pygmy marmoset's doing. Oh, do they eat anything else? They eat a few insects and some fruit, but mostly sap from trees. Big or small, all creatures grow at their own pace. Mondrotsika, you're right. Well, just like I like being smaller than you guys. Why, Zob? Well, because. <laughs> because then I can cling onto you while you're leaping. Let's well, sleep like lemurs! And while we're leaping and clinging, I'll tell a story from Zabu Land! All right! Oh, we were leaping along. Leap, 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 <laughs> leap, leap, leap. When I landed on a huge rock. But it wasn't a rock. It was an egg and it cracked. My mind got a great idea. I could fix the egg with some Zabu Land tree sap. Whoa! Whoa, it's very gooey and I put it on the egg. But the egg kept cracking and cracking and cracking and, and whoa, 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 whoa! Ah! A baby Zabumafusaurus! <laughs> Mama? Mama? Me? Well, I'm not your mommy. Oh, will you help me find my mommy? So I said, sure, and we went to find his mommy. Mama. Well, on the way, baby Zabumafusaurus asked me, Zabu, will you help me grow? Help you grow? Oof. Well, I know you need food, sleep, and exercise to grow, but here's something else that'll help you grow. Mama. Mama. <laughs> Baby. So we hopped on board and had a nice ride home. The end. Hey, that's a good one, buddy. Huh? Thanks. Zabu, you ready for one last measurement? Oh, yeah. Stand up straight. Another garbanzo bean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Zabu's well, uh, shooting up like a weed. Come on, Rodzika, I'm still growing. We're great growers. Right, Klingalong? 
Thumper.